Hey guys and welcome back to Adam Smasher, a technical mod pack all about manipulating the solar system around you. Where today I said I was going to be working on some armor and if you're really eagle eyed you might know that I have actually already started working on armor. But whilst working on this I realized that no, this is not the step we want to make. This stuff's made pretty easy. If we have a look in here we have some heavy cloth. Heavy cloth is just made with white wool and a leather. Now you combine these together through various means to make different types of armor and the one that I did a make is in fact this soldier's armor here you can see that it's mainly made with a band of iron and then heavy cloth to make up the rest but whilst making that I was like hmm steel certainly is within my grasp so I thought I would get started on that you can see I've got a blast furnace marked down there to be worked upon the other option is the alloy smelter which my friend Forrest who if I walk over this way we might be able to see no yeah there he is all all the way over there on my map you can see him over there he was saying the alloy furnace would be the way to go I was like no 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 surely the blast furnace is the way to go and the reason for that uh, where can we get some some recipes well the reason for that is to make steel in the alloy furnace you need to put iron and carbon in there no, it sounds good, sounds easy, but to make the blast furnace, all you need is iron and compressed air, which uh, sounds a little bit more resource friendly to me, uh, as you've got to spend the power anyway. So, I may have uh, slightly gone ahead and made the blast furnace, it really was uh, not difficult to do so. If I press R on here, we've got some casings, of course casings are just four around like that. Uh, the most complicated item was this, which is just copper plates and some rubber. Funny enough, things that we just all have a kick in around. Uh, so let, let's do it, shall we? Let's do it. I've got myself a little IC2 wrench, because as I said, Forrest over that way has got himself an alloy furnace, so I just put three bits of copper and a bit of tin in there. You have seen a bronze get made many, many times in the past. So I'm going to pop that in there and hope that power flows. There, there is no power to flow right now. Let's just throw a couple of bits of charcoal in there uh, and see what happens. Why do I have rail in my inventory? And more importantly, why is my assault rifle off of my hotbar? That's, these, these things are not things that go down well. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. We need to figure out some place to put our ore doubling system. I don't want it to live here. I think this place here is more of an experimental area whilst I think about it. You know, we've got to have a power system there. Maybe the power will go down uh, to a more serious power unit. I have left a little patch on the floor over there for digging down underneath. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll do something like that. Uh, I also would like that wrench back again at some point if I can. Thanks. We've got the macerator over this side. We're going to get rid of that as well because I need to put down something called the compressor. Now the compressor is not the hard... No, that's the wash plant. No, don't, don't power that. I don't want that. Hmm, I can't get down there. Now the compressor is a super simple machine to build, uh, if we have a look up here, it's just six bits of stone, a uh, machine block, man, that, that naming really needs to get worked on, uh, it's, it's resource dot machine block, yeah. uh, and then over here we have a control circuit, which if we just click on that you can see is cable, all these things we know how to build, one thing we don't know how to build though, hopefully I've got myself an entire block of tin up here, uh, I'll just pop that in there. Okay, so I've turned the block of tin into some plates. I'm going to come across here and uh, grab a few more of these casings. Also, at the same time, make myself a whole um, load of glass panes here. I'm not sure how many we're actually going to end up using. It's probably going to be quite a lot. But I want to make one of these a fluid cells. Now, I know fluid makes it sound like I want to use liquids in here. But actually, what I want to do is put one of those in there and just wait a little bit of time. Uh, I'm going to take this iron. And if we come over to the blast furnace, you see. I want to put this up here, so that should be put nice and good, and then I want to take the output of this as soon as it makes it. Are we out of power? We're out of power. As soon as it makes it across, we've got some compressed air, so I should now be able to click that in there. You can see the air comes out this way. Now, why isn't this receiving heat? Is it because it's facing the wrong way? If I... Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Is it shift click to turn? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm not sure which way that's facing now. Double shift click spins it off. This is a rather interesting. I wasn't 
expecting that to happen. Uh, can we not double spin it? Is that not a thing? Okay, if I do that, does that now start taking in some power? That's a question there. Oh, this already has... No, it's just the uh, empty fluid cell. Ooh, learning new systems, always interesting. Ooh, maybe the alloy furnace would have been a better idea. But anyway, I'm on this now. Turns out this orange spot here needs a heat source. So if we have a look here in the uh, JEI, uh, it's called, there's an electric heat generator. So we need to get ourselves a whole bunch of iron casings as an electric circuit, a battery, and one of these things again. And that's the heat conductor. Okay, so I think what I want to do here is to remove this out of here. Somewhere on me, I should have my ruby pickaxe. Is it safe on the other side of this wall? I, I, I hope so. I hope so. We, we're going to just assume that it is. Okay, so down here, blast furnace that way. That's right, yep. And then the heat generator wants to somehow go... Let's put it that way and see if we right-click it. Does it sort it? self out no how about if we do that and then shift right click does that look like it's oh that was a bad that was a very bad if i do that again and i've lost my wrench oh man the, the wrench breaks very easily Okay, let's see if this basic universal cable works here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Is this producing heat? Is that producing power back there? That's the real question. So it's got power in its thing. Okay, that's fine. Where's my configurator? It's somewhere in my pack here. I got I got a few of them, and I'm not even sure which one it is I'm supposed to be using this. Like this one swaps around what power it's using. This is in state wrench. I don't know what the button is to change my state. If I'm to be honest with you, I've I've tried a few times, and it's not worked out great for me. Okay. Power, power flows, power flows. This is going to start warming up. Is it starting to produce heat? Do we need to put anything in here? Coils. Let's have a look for coils. Of course, we have made a coil before when making... Uh, I think it might have been the electric furnace. I can't remember exactly what it was. So we put that in there. That should now start making heat. It says this should be it. All it needs is one one uh, coil, and that will turn that into 20 heat, something like that. Is it all going straight into here? And there's not. How do I make sure that the... Look, it's got, it's got a, a, a heat signature on the top of it. Uh, let's uh, bust this out. So that is definitely making heat there. I'm going to go all the way around here. Let's uh, pop a scrap block down somewhere quick. I've got all this extra concrete. Let's do that. I want to put that down there, and then run around this way, and hopefully be able to put this down this way does that work if do we now have heat because that should be orange dot to orange dot right that that is definitely a thing that's happening there you are not receiving any more power we can do something about that in a second but i would really like this to be pumping on a through let's try and just throw the stuff in there and see what happens because it should all be matching up now it should all be matching up so let's take one of those man i've, I've got to move this block uh let's start by doing that move my pickaxe down to my bar hey let's grab this thanks all right over here i should have some compressed uh gas and pop that in there does that there we go we got a little we got a little thing there okay let's see if we can't keep this can't keep this turning over. That'd be good. Let's take a, a block of coal. Is it that one or that one? I can never remember. Uh, let's go there. Get one, another one of these. And maybe start turning over a few more. What have we got here? 14, it says. I'll just grab a small handful. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start turning all this stuff into steel, I think. Okay then, so we've had a couple of bits of steel made, but I think before I carry on like trying to shuffle things around and making sure that this carries on, I would like to do a thing. This thing involves what I've got going on over here. Let me grab this bucket quickly. So you can see we've got the macerator, the ore washing plant, we've got a uh, generator back here and we've got a sink all the things are joined up via some power cable and we have a logistics pipe moving stuff from macerator to wash plant yes that's that's what i'm trying to go for but if we try to come over here and put these two down here and this one here i should get something called a basic mechanical pipe man i have been looking for these for a little while now because they're the ones that do this yes oh it's about time so if i set this to pull we then get a whole bunch of water hopefully just flowing in there like that oh it's amazing let's go and grab ourselves what do we want actually i've got all this stuff from whisper on me let's just grab something out of here have i been emptying this one out already let's just do the iron let's grab ourselves a stack of iron pop that in there and ooh, I don't know how much coal we're gonna need let's just grab four blocks for now I intend to make some something else automated back there in a second but we're gonna start work on this first and this should now be powering up everything all right cool this looks like it's a nice easy thing to work on all right let's let's get rid of all these items out of my inventory 
try and tidy things up here. Do you? Are you not going to go anywhere? You're actually not. Right, so whilst this is ticking over, I think I'm going to go ahead and make myself another collector. I can't remember exactly what it is I need for that, but it should be nice and simple. Yeah, it's a lapis block, a couple of droppers, some hoppers, and some iron. Hmm, Zed immediately left. I think he's been having a lot of trouble. If we have a look, you can see that he's been doing that a lot on the way past. Uh, I, I know that this pack... I hate to say it, but it does have a few uh, very, very reliable triggers for crashing. Like, any time that I go up to space for the first time, it'll crash me out to desktop and I have to reload. I mean, it's like five minutes on a load for, for this. It's a, a little disheartening. Uh, we also need a few things there. Uh, I'm wondering how many people have started the pack and left because of that. that. That would be a little disappointing if that was the case. So there's the droppers. That's nice. I know there are a few people just in my friend group who have uh, stopped playing because it's quite un, uh, quite a struggle to keep going sometimes. It really is. Right, I need to come around here and see if I can't take this power wire out here just for a little bit. Because whilst, yes, still very good, I need it. Uh, we're going to uh, just concentrate a little bit on iron for the moment so I can get a lot of these other things done. So all my iron has just gone into this collector and we're going to go try and build something out of the back. Oh, do I actually want in here? We're going to try and make an infinite fuel source. Yeah, let's grab that iron furnace. That's that's going to be useful to me at some point. So out the back, should we just... Yeah, I, th I think we're just going to crest this here. You guys might remember the fuel farm and the tree farm. Now, we're going to just concentrate on the tree farm for now. I reckon we can use the item collector to collect the things from the tree farm. So let's uh, let's set this up. I don't want to go all the way to the end there. Look, that's, that's horrible. That's disgusting. What we're going to do is just kind of indent it. Does that work? Is that going the right way? Have I turned it the wrong way? Is that is that a thing there? Preview rendered. Yeah, that's not right is it okay we need to turn this around hopefully it's breakable by pickaxe i don't know i've not tested it yet okay so we were facing this way that time let's try this way now is that any better nine by nine oh oh we can put it up oh may maybe then a one by one Ooh, okay let's let's try this let's try uh, this uh forest is trying to find out what uh, what will make RF power and I, I don't know I, to I told him which mods to look in and now he's like oh that's just far too much stuff I don't know what to do uh, which is fair enough I suppose it's fair enough okay so this is 11 by 11 uh, 13 15 6 uh, 17 yeah I, I remember how odd numbers count so 17 I might only go up to 15 uh, 17 19 I mean if I start doing that it's pushing its way into my base there and I'm not sure if I'm all about that but let let's try this I should also have on me a whole ton of basic logistic transport pipe we're gonna try and use this if we can can I connect it like there is that a thing click yes yes it is so let's just come this way I don't mind if I lose a little bit of coverage with this in fact most likely I'm uh, gonna end up doing it so that we like put down a, a, a trim around the outside so it can't plant more trees down something like that I think that'll probably do quite well so I've got all this cobble with me okay so with that in a way let's go this way configure items i want to pull if we can pull okay that that's looking pretty good uh we really wanted to have a, an iron furnace in between this and keep on the loop but i think for now we'll try and see what happens with this what do we need we need a little bit of charcoal okay so i've set it going i'm not sure if we're going to end up picking up anything oh let's uh turn it to always on right we've immediately got an apple is it going to try and push the apple i don't think so because there's nowhere to push it i'm kind of hoping that it will pick up saplings and stuff though well here comes the first of the uh, are we out of that little bit of charcoal already it would not surprise me if we were oh is it feeding in the power is that feeding them in for power let's have a look mm, no no okay i'm not sure what was doing there to feed that little bit of power let's go get some more power well zed's trying again he's a brave man i would have given up by now he's been trying for the past hour or so uh so there goes a whole bunch oh i was kind of hoping we would have tree there or a little bit of wood or something i really want to know what happens has wood gone through do we have anything in here yet we've got apples uh, i'm not seeing any actual wood travel here comes some sapling so it's good that it's replenishing its sapling supply i'm, I'm all about that can we somehow 
push some over this way as well. Will that connect? That will. Okay, that's pretty cool. I want to know what happens if we do this. Is this going to drop stuff? Is this going to pick stuff up? I don't know. Look at that nice, nice clean edge there, though. Uh, let's get my let's get my ruby axe out. I want to see what happens if I break all this stuff down. Uh, nine for the key. Does that work? I haven't got the stuff, so it should have. Okay, I've got a bunch of logs in my hand, so actually maybe I did pick them up. Let's just kind of throw them down and see what happens. I'm going to be very interested to see. Have they all ended up in... Okay, they're turning this way. That's good. They're going down as a burning source. Do you reckon we can loop it up and over and make it do both? Because that, that would be pretty good. Uh, like that. No? Okay, that's kind of unfortunate what i'd like to do yeah is that dig out this underneath trying to uh trace around a loop to get the charcoal back out if we can something something like that let's go through and deconfigure these so that they don't do anything that's pretty good uh and then which was the other one i wanted to do there was another connection that i was like no this one here of course, you've got to pull out the bottom. Let's see what happens there. Is it not loading? Is that not a thing it likes to do? Okay, that's that's unfortunate. I was kind of... Oh, we got a dirt block in there. Ah, where did you come from? Is that going to do anything better? Yes, it does. Okay, all right. This should now, hopefully, be self-sustaining? Question mark? I mean, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. There's only one way to find out, and that is to let it keep running. I'm going to be very intrigued to know whether this... Oh, no, that's not the way around. I want to do that. That's something like that. Uh, really, we want to try and intercept some charcoal and get it put back down underneath. Um, yeah, that, that would be good if it could. I mean, we can't connect that up like that. Maybe we could try and get the charcoal a bit put in okay here it comes it's going to go around and do a few more it's going to get much better on the next run i think i think that's going to be a really good i am a little bit worried because obviously trees grow when saplings drop on the floor uh that could mean that we're going to end up with this just being completely caged in but that would be interesting Okay, so I put in a seed stack underneath just to make sure it could actually do what I was hoping it would do. And indeed, once the bottom has filled up, it will just carry on a spewing over like that. It would have been nicer if we could have got charcoal in there. I do have to admit that. But all the charcoal really is needed to keep this uh, this burning down here. In fact, if we go and have a look now, that'll fill in. We do 7%. It goes and does a few things. Is it even going to go as far as breaking the logs there? It is. Okay, so that's now new logs going in. I, I think it's time to just sit back and watch this one roll on for a few minutes. So all in all, I think this tree farm is ticking over pretty well. I had a little bit of an issue where we could have had infinite fire during the time lapse. It was great fun. So if we... Can I get up here? Can, is, there, is there a way I can get up on top? Because that will definitely show you the issue that I am having. I, I have a few ways of fixing this, but I, I want to show you so you guys can get a bit of an intuitive idea about what I'm talking about here. So if I come up along here, you can see there are very definite edges to this area. If I kind of like walk along here you can see this is definitely where the tree uh, farm does not harvest it kind of goes off over that way and i thought oh, great i'll just set this on fire no problem it'll get rid of it all straight away i wasn't quite aware of how quickly the trees would grow uh, i mean i kind of was but i wasn't thinking about it at the time so i set them on fire and then boom infinite fire was underway uh, it was all right in the end uh, it got 
pretty close to spreading towards the base, but uh, I, I managed to nip it in the bud and go and stop all the, the spread as it was happening. I want to uh, get down to the front and show you what's happening with like actual automation here. If we just break our way through a few leaves, this will probably work. I like, I've uh, kind of worked it out so that I've got a bunch of stairways almost all over this thing. Just got to kind of jump up. All right, so you will see three um, iron furnaces here. Yeah, three iron furnaces. We can come along, om nom nom, grab some XP out of all those. All of these are like properly stacked. Basically what happens is this item collector, I'll take those torches, thank you, will pick up this wood and uh, shuffle it off towards the iron furnaces. These make their own charcoal. Uh, the charcoal comes up and goes into one of these furnaces. And if not, we go for a, a nice little walk down this way. So first off, we have the forester. It pulls out the charcoal it needs first and the oak saplings before going to a little dumping area over here. Uh, I'm not really that bothered about having this chest as a, a serious unit here because I want to kind of take all the charcoal off from here. I want to go down and I want to take it to my little place. There's a few things I've got stuck in here that I need to try and deal with at some point, but that's not all I've been up to. Oh no, 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 no. If we go and have a look out back in where we are, out, back in, no, in, in, in the base. Anyway, we're in the base. Over here, I've got a little system. It's getting a little bit spaghetti. <clears throat> Yeah, I'd like to fix that. I'd like to fix that. I'd like to put all the power underneath. Like, these two are nicely stacked on each top of each other, but that means that this power can't get to it. And then, then this needs to be somewhere around there. I could probably put it underneath. Now that I stop to think about it, we could have the heat underneath and just have a bunch of power running up the side. All right, we, we might rearrange to do that. This is ready to get upgraded to an electric furnace. It's not going to just be this iron one. I just needed something to put in there whilst I was trying to make a bunch of copper. As you can see, I don't have much copper, so I can't make an electric furnace. Ah, oh, right, and something else, and something else. One thing left before we finish this uh, this episode up. Uh, one thing I've noticed. Gaping hole in my wall. Let, let's do something about that. Just kind of fill this in there. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh, underneath, made myself a little bit of a spot here. It's, uh, it's nothing really to worry about. This is just uh, in preparation of uh, running down some cables and powers and uh, logistics lines and stuff like that. But this armor. This armor is really good, but it cannot be fixed through normal means. It can't be... You, you can't use an anvil on that. What can you use? Well, if we come into JEI and go repair, uh, I can type, honestly, you can see that we've got all this. Now, most of this is nice and easy. You know, I've got some iron plates and a craft bench and a whole bunch of iron nuggets, but this mechanical part... Oh, so you need steel plates. Okay, we're making steel. We can make steel plates in the press plate pressure. Uh, iron gear, okay. Stone gear, wooden gear. Ooh, mechanical parts. That that took a little bit of time to get. So let's just drag everything out of here. Uh, come up to the repair bench. Go. Bam, I'll take one of those. Thank you very much. Now, unfortunately, none of my stuff is actually... Or fortunately, I, I, I don't know which way we want to do But none of my stuff is actually uh, damaged right now. So let's change out of those and into these. There is something else we can use as well. But time is a ticking on and I don't know if we're going to do that. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. It is just a workbench, a bunch of dies, and some iron nuggets. And that gives us the camo bench, which we're just going to throw up there. Uh, can I not interface? Oh, I was really hoping. There we go. Interface is a nice and easy there. Now, we don't have a no, uh, no camo there. Can I put this red dye on anything? Can we go here? No, is this not how it works? Oh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of experimentation to find out how that works, but I'm afraid that is all the time we've got for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where we're going to continue automating everything up. We're going to hook everything up in the background there. Uh, I'm going to rearrange that and maybe have all that ready by the time of next episode. Uh, and then going to build a spaceship. Yes, indeed. We're going to build a spaceship right up there. And we're going to put all our fire equipment in it because we don't need it on the floor anymore. But I will see you then when we're going to do that.